Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 167. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Where the hell am I recording? Oh, well, I didn't mean to record, but uh, we're, we're now go going, I guess. <laughs> we're starting the next clip. Uh, we're going to be doing Circuit to Catalonia. <laughs> this is so scared. Circuit to Catalonia. We've got 130 event. kilometers in it. Uh, I can't pick any options. This is the race we're going to do. No, Zeno, you should know this by now. It's not ADHD. It's called When Intrusive Thoughts Take Over. <laughs> that 100% should be the name of the song. When Intrusive Thoughts Take Over. Beep, 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 beep. Remember, anyone can get that. Anyone can get intrusive thoughts. Oh! Feel the love. Feels really weird driving this track and I'm not in a Formula One car. No, I still don't know how to shift gears. It takes too long for me to pay attention to it. I lose track. I can't do the uh, TikTok meme thing. The alpha male meme thing. Just do it by the noise of the car. I am doing it by the noise of the car. But the noise of the car sounds like for quite a long time. See? It has that really hot and to be honest, I then lose focus. And I get a Mitsubishi. <laughs> Such a funny joke. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? Oh. Such a pretty motherfucker. <laughs> Skill issue. I love how flat this section is. It's not flat in real life. Like, there's a bump in the road there. That's why they had to re sort it out. Because there was a bump in the road there. Oh, and thank fuck they've gotten rid of this as well. Dying alone, gang. Let's go. These beats banging out the back of my toy car. Yo, I'm eating fun dip right now. Not giving a fuck. Mwah. That's such a chew. Thing is, now that I live here, I can actually do, like, 24-hour streams, night streams, whatnot, sleep streams. I just keep going. But obviously, if I'm doing, like, a subathon stream, I need to hit, like, a significant goal. Do you know what? If we hit my goal before the end of the month, the goal at the top, that includes super thanks as well. So if you're watching this vi as a video later on down the line, and you're like, oh, well, I didn't see it live. You can actually do super thanks down in the comment section now. So you can just, you know, do a super chat, but as a comment instead. That will still add to the goal. If we hit that goal up there, I'll do it. I'll do a sleep stream. I have the speaker on, we vibe. Like 
like an electric field, babe girl. Oh shit. Oh, my skip track button isn't working. Much better. Why is the grass so sticky? It's not the fact that it's sticky. Um, it's just the fact that if you go on certain patches of grass, it penalizes you. Because this game was the first game where it didn't have the sort of time penalty system. But instead it just slowed your car the fuck down. <laughs> Just fucking launch that chicane over the grass like an idiot. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, Trial Mountain. I'm not a fan of the new Trial Mountain. I'm, I'm not a fan of Gran Turismo tracks at the moment, to be fair. Gran Turismo in general pisses me off. Because how many tracks have they added? Two. They've added two tracks. Uh, what the fuck? What's the point in that? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I just think Gran Turismo's d done a shit job this time. They've tried too hard as well to get that sponsorship with the FIA. That's its problem. Gran Turismo needs to stop focusing on the FIA. Because they're trying to get a sponsorship with the FIA, a game that's supposed to be an arcade game. Or, sorry, a sim game. So you've got the Simcade Racer, and it's trying to be buddy buddy with the FIA. It's not buddy buddy with the FIA at the moment. Yeah. They're just doing a shit job. This was their chance to create a game that had an enjoyable experience, and they're too focused on graphics again. Right, like, I'll be honest. It's kind of fucking pointless. It looks... Like, what What the fuck's the point in a good-looking game if it plays like wank? If it plays like shit... I don't think he needs to retire. That's the problem. I think Sony need to pull their finger out of their assholes and stop fingering themselves over fucking graphics. Like, unfortunately, 4K is overrated. A, we're not at a point where running games at 4K is ideal. And B, again, it's not needed. This game is 720p and look how good it looks. Like, I, I th will say I think it's mostly Sony. But again, he's the guy that's in charge. He should be taking charge, and he's not doing a great job with it. Welcome to the panic room. Welcome to the panic room. 
jump into the panic room. Welcome to the panic room. Welcome to the panic room. I love this remix. The panic room itself is a really good song. But on top of that, to have an amazing artist like Culture Shop to remix it. Like that that's a good combination. I don't get how Sony can simultaneously have bangers like Bloodborne and God of War and then have GC7. Because I don't even know. They don't have competition. Who does Sony have a racing game competition against? Project Cars is gone. F1 is an exclusive game for the Formula 1 series. WRC is off-road rally. Like, what racing game that is start other than Forza? But guess what? Forza isn't on their platform. If you've got a PlayStation, you ain't going to get buy an Xbox just to play Forza. You're just going to put up with Gran Turismo. There's no competition. And they did that when they shut down Evolution Studios. They were like, oh yeah, Evolution, we don't need you anymore. I'll be honest though, Drive Club is overrated. Don't get me wrong. Like, people that go, oh my god, Drive Club's such a good game. Like, fuck off. Don't be a game reviewist. Like, the game itself was pretty good. But to go and hype it up like it was amazing for its time there were better games the handling mechanics were dog shit the gameplay was server based which meant it was dog shit as a single player game yeah it might have had potential but it, the structure just doesn't make sense of the game I played it for an hour and I was like, what the hell am I doing? Why the hell was I pointing the thumbstick down? Again, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> At least this game has structure. But, I don't know. Put in on charge or you're next. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Sad scene, huh? Sorry, I just wanted to pull the handbrake and see what happened. Oh shit. That might not have been a good idea, to be fair. Because now I'm not in first. Fuck me, that Volvo's quick. Come on, Volvo. Out of the way. Bop. Move over. Let me take you on a trip. This song sounds exactly what I imagine when you take special substances this is what I imagine the background music is Who 
the red lines had enough heat. Mate, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Remember, I haven't streamed for six months and I've just decided, Joe, you know fuck it, I'm gonna do 16 hours. I'm shattered. I can't do this. <laughs> How the hell did I do three days? I've done three days at the most. I am tempted to do another stream with the timer on. But obviously for me to be able to do that, I need to be getting... I think it'd be equivalent to about 100 quid a day. That would be my, I'll do a sleep stream number. Like a 24 hour stream or whatever. That's what work experience is for. I fucked up a bolt on a, you know those little beach buggy Myers Maxes or whatever they're called. The little beach buggies. I fucked up a screw on a beach buggy in... I did the engineering work, uh, work experience on one of the seats. Which meant we had to drill the fucking thing out and rebuild the whole thing. To be fair, it wasn't exactly my fault. The fucker was completely seized up, but I still fucked it up. That was on me. I messed up. I made the mistake. Guess what? It's work experience. No one cares. Also, the place I went to had tits everywhere. I know it sounds random. The place I went to for work experience, they had calendars and all sorts, and it was just topless women everywhere. Like, everywhere. On all of the calendars and everything. And then their computer in the reception area had a screensaver that would just cycle through. Oh, topless women. It was crazy. And the funny thing is, right, is when you're stood on the other side as, like, a customer, you don't see any of it. It just looks like a normal garage. You stand on that side and you're like, oh, there's boobs everywhere. <laughs> Because they were all put in places that a customer couldn't see unless they were sort of in the garage. That was brilliant. <laughs> what have we done with innocence? I redlined it again. Next year I'm going to do it in Pizza Hut and get free pizza every day. You only get one work experience. You don't get one in year 11. It's only in year 10 that you get work experience in the UK. You don't get work experience in year 11. Because after year 11, you're supposed to be starting work. Well, that's what school tries to push you for. They do it in year 11 as well. Fucking hell. Both schools that I went to did it on only in year 10. Fair enough. Oh! I mean, to be fair, no complaints. I think it was pretty cool. I'll be honest, I couldn't imagine someone working on work experience with us. I don't even think that's possible. I'm not sure. Yeah, 
yeah, because a lot of companies don't like the idea of work experience. Which is stupid, because I think work experience is a great idea for everyone. They should do, like, a week of work experience. Or two weeks. They should do a week. Once every two terms. Where you're just in work. For, like, year 10 and 11. So you get six weeks of work experience before you go into work. I think that'd be a great idea. Don't want to be your monkey wrench. <laughs> monkey wrench is... I, I, I think Foo Fighters in general make so many good songs. But it's mostly their older songs that I like. Again, DOA is my favourite. 100%. Because they know the job already. They've been shown bits and pieces. Like... Work experience is... Really, really good. Really useful for... Pretty much everyone. Everyone should have done work experience. At least. Me, I had to work hard to find the job that I'm in at the moment. This is a good song. Zeno, you might like this. This is a uh, um, zoo. I think it's zoo. Zoo. It's a um. He's an American Chinese DJ. So. Yeah, history for Jesus. I mean, to be fair, history I don't understand, um, and I don't I don't like history unless it's to do with World War One or World War Two. That surprisingly actually quite interests me. I don't, I don't understand why. Like I'm quite interested in seeing World War One and World War Two history, and but again, I've got no fucking clue why shit every single lesson until I exams for history. Meanwhile, my other subjects were like 70% done the course. What the hell? We can keep zoning. Right. <laughs> Whoa! on that well. Yeah. I need a drink. I didn't like but uh, I was gonna do before I moved to UC I, I moved to the technical college um, 
pretty much after uh, what's it called? After I had a fallen out with one of the teachers in my primary school, uh, primary school, secondary school beforehand. Um, but I was going to be staying there, and I was going to have four options. I was going to do um, triple science, because obviously you're forced to do double science as a minimum. But I would have gotten an extra science and done a higher grade of science. Um, I believe German was on the list as well. Uh, that was also another option that I picked. And then I also had uh, photography and computer science. Obviously, if I couldn't pick computer science, I would have been pissed off. But photography was also an option there as well. I was really excited to do photography especially because one of the things that I've hated I hated it when I was in school like year 8, year 9 year 7, whatnot. I hated Photoshop it was dreadful but they got us to do it for like design and technologies and stuff like that I was fucking dreadful at it and I still am I don't understand Photoshop that's why the editing software I used like basic like I use GIMP or whatnot. Like, that is my photo editing software. Because I just don't understand Photoshop. And I really was looking forward to doing it. And, like, learning all this new shit. Learning how to take pictures, cameras. I've obviously taught myself a little bit with video games. How photography works. But, you know, still. I would have loved to have done that course. about Photoshop than actually learning about photography itself. Fair enough. I mean, to be fair, Photoshop is a very vital tool in all photography. And to be fair, a lot of cameras nowadays do most of the settings themselves. Like, you probably only need about six to eight hours worth of teaching of what each setting on a camera does. Because, to be honest, an actual camera will do most of it for you now. One of my mates picked and he hates it. There's only four people in his class. To be fair, that does suck. If you've got barely any people in there, that's definitely a shittier experience. I think as well, if I can push to do this race without going to the pits, because I'm on lap 12 and I've still got a little bit over halfway, I think by the time I finish the next lap, I should still have plenty. But I don't know whether I can push for it. Definitely some likeable teachers and unlikable teachers. We had, um, there was a student that pulled a knife out on our supply teacher. He was an arsehole. The supply teacher was an arsehole. But the student pulled a knife out on him. And then decided when he was running away to go all the way to the Tesco's across the road. And you're like, hang on, if you're trying to run away from school, and then subsequently, the police that you will have now pissed off. Mm. Yeah, Tesco's is not your place to go. But you realise the teacher could probably just like fill in the paperwork herself and say, "Yeah, my student got a great night. My student got a great night." 
this one got a grade nine as well. Tune. Yeah, this is from um, Need for Speed 2015. Oh, I remember. You used to play uh, Need for Speed 2015, right? Was it you or someone else? I'm thinking of. I'm definitely thinking of someone. Yeah! Yeah, and this was in 2015. Ah, uh, that's sick. Oh yeah, the Platinum! I used to love Platinum Honey. I can't do it now, because I ain't got the PlayStation. Well, I have it, but I haven't got it. Like, I haven't got it on. I own a PlayStation, but I don't have a PlayStation. Small brain though. Mid 2021. About two years, yeah. Almost two years now. That is crazy. Literally just virtual friends with this bet the most IRL for it. I'll be totally honest. A lot of virtual friendships are just fucking better than IRL. Let's be real. Like Pandy, for example. I mean, I'd, lo I'd love to meet Pandy in real life. Let's be honest, because that would be fucking hilarious. Alex, I, okay, I met him IRL once, and then COVID hit, but we sort of became friends, internet friends, even though the first time I met him was IRL, and we didn't meet until like September 2020, again, for the second time, but we fucking vibe a lot, and again, that was a great example of like virtual friends pretty much becoming fucking popular. Yeah, I'm halfway through this tank of fuel and I'm 14 laps in. I think I've got plenty of fuel to be able to get all the way to the end. I think I should be fine. Um, but yeah, like, fun. A lot of friends that I know are just online friends and whatnot. But I, I wouldn't even say that I have a lot of friendships, like, you know when people are like, I got quite a few friends and whatnot. I don't think I have many. Or I put it down to it. I'd say all friendships. Oh yeah, no. If everyone in this community met up, we'd have you, we'd have Alex, we'd have Pandy, we'd have me, Kodo, uh, Sinsu, Sabaki. Or whatever his new name is now. He's got like three names. It's crazy. Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. <laughs> I needed that message. Aaron as well. If we all met up, I'd be a fucking blast. 
And more than likely someone will get arrested, let's be real. <laughs> someone will get arrested for <laughs> antisocial behaviour. And it'd probably be me for drinking too much. <laughs> I'd be the one that get, got arrested. Why you fucking bitch? <laughs> yeah. It would either be me or Kodo that gets arrested first. Uh, to be fair, Kodo would get arrested first, let's be real. Mr. Fishman would be in prison. Thrown away. Locked up. Throw away the key. a good song. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, no, I'm... I don't know. That's why most of the time when I'm, like, planning on going out and meeting with people, I normally have drinks beforehand. Because otherwise I'm just awkward at the start. So, I normally have drinks beforehand. I did that. Um, we went on a work do out. Went on a work night out. I had pre-drinks, obviously. Why wouldn't I? And uh, that was an expensive night. I spent £100. I'm not very happy with myself in the morning, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. do is drink a fuck ton of alcohol and then you become a different person. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's oh yeah, that's a good shout. I probably shouldn't recommend that to you. <laughs> Okay. Everyone's had alcohol at the age of like eight. Yeah, do it when you're 21, because then you can drink alcohol. Yeah, I've been to UK. You can get some booze here. Year old fucking dies because of too much whiskey. Jesus Christ. To be fair, to be fair, I ain't drinking whiskey. I don't like whiskey. Um, I very much feel ill when I drink whiskey. I also can't drink Jägermeister. But that's because I had a bad experience with Jägermeister, so... I can't drink Jäger. I can't drink whiskey. I don't like the taste of whiskey. I drank so much whiskey before, it's, I've just gone off it. So now I exclusively drink cider. Pretty much if I'm drinking alcohol, it's a cider... ...or vodka. Okay. But to be fair, vodka and coke fucks you up. Big time. I was having, um... On the, uh, what am I at? I was having AU Blue Vodka. Which is like the blue raspberry flavour. So it's obviously the AU Gold, but blue raspberry flavour. 
can't believe you did not remember my name. Aaron? What do you mean I couldn't remember your name? My brain tried to forget you after earlier on, let's be real. <laughs> Most of my friends drink alcohol fairly frequently and I'm just here like permanently sober. I I'll be honest, like I'm, I'm not a fan of like frequent drinking at all. I like to play with my penis. <laughs> I'm gonna go to work and the first thing they're gonna say is that I'm gonna cry. Oh, uh, it's gonna be funny. Yo, Craig, would you like a lift home? No, nope, I, I would rather crawl through halfway across Swindon than go and get a lift home. Thank you very much. Appreciate the offer, but nope. <laughs> uh. Oh, are you trying to clip it? Huh? Can I please record? What, what do you want me to record? <laughs> That's such a weird question. That sounds like something your doctor would say. So, uh, uh, Mr. Grindle, do you, uh, do you like to play with your penis? <laughs> no, he's lying. What do you mean? Uh, that was fucking brilliant. No, actually, I say that's fucking brilliant. No, it's not, but, you know. I know this, but I've all but just forgotten. By the way, before you say about the red line, I was busy doing something else. So, not that. Before you say... <laughs> Do you frequently engage in playful manners with your bottle of edges? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. There is no reconciliation that'll put me in my place, and there is no time like the present. So tell me now They say you love Then how do we get out Cause I don't know That's when she said I don't hate you But I just want to save you While there's still something left to save Whoa, whoa oh, I forgot to shift up again It's getting to the point of the night Where the fi filter slowly fades Isn't it? Oh, the filter's fucking gone the film was gone. The film was gone earlier. That's why I said to Aaron, someone is going to get arrested if everyone met up. Like, if everyone in my community, we all went to, like, a meetup, someone would get arrested. Harassment of the general public. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Kodo will call the police and say we're bullying him. And then we'd all get arrested. <laughs> Said I don't hate you, but I just want to save you While there's still something left to save I love you, but... <laughs> Too many jokes about Meg's penis. <laughs> That's so, so annoyed. I'm not looking forward to it. I'll be honest. And what's even worse is I've got at least two more streams. I've got at least two more streams that I'm gonna do before I go back to work. I can tell you now, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to it. What am I supposed to do though? Just gotta giggle about it? So Mr. CG, where did you get fired again? 
I like to play with my penis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a running joke. I want to cry. <laughs> oh. Oh, you, you were potting so I would sing that. And then you're like... At work. Oh, my God. Joe, we should change it to... I like to play with my penis. At work. <laughs> no. Take a well out of context now. <laughs> I'm not the answer for the questions that you still have. Whoa, whoa, whoa. While driving. Jesus Christ. So, uh, why did you crash into the back of my car then? Oh, I was distracted. By what? Uh, bird? What bird? A bird at the side of the road? <laughs> what bird? Oh, over there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is so disturbing. So many levels. So many levels. Bum 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 See uh this is what we'll all be if we met up. Intoxicated. <laughs> That's fucking mental. Honestly, I just love fucking vibing. Like, just chat about random shit. Random shit happens. We laugh at it. That's the whole point of the stream. And then people can watch the YouTube videos and actually watch the YouTube videos to see, like, random shit again. Just me playing through and whatnot. You got me intoxicated. Exactly. But literally talk about anything and it's a vibe. No, I don't think we do anymore. Because we got rid of it a while ago. But I'll make another one. I can make a clip channel. You got me intoxicated. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Imagine being some random guy wanting to see FM3 gameplay, finding this channel and just hearing a foul autistic man talking about his pain. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it because it's not wrong. 
That's 100% true. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, uh, do you know what that means I need to do now? I need to give Pandy access to all the fucking content. Like the early access shit. I've got to do that tonight, don't I? Before I go to bed, otherwise I'll forget. And then Pandy won't get access to it. Oops. Hey, yay. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, Sherry, I'm a pretty little woman. I adore you. I wish that you were mine. I, 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 I wish that you were mine. I wish that you were Ask your question, good sir. Tits or ass? Tits. <laughs> that is such, a <laughs> that's such an easy and quick to answer question. <laughs> like, simple. Tits. I like the boobies. I know. I don't have to think about it. I know exactly what I fancy. No hesitation. No hesitation whatsoever. I, I know exactly. I know exactly what I want. Right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. Right here. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. You know, I was expecting you to say that. I, 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 I don't mind good thighs. To be fair, thighs are nice, but I, I'm not an ass guy. I'm not an ass guy. It 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 doesn't do the, the tingly thing that makes you like oh ooh boobs. <laughs> Bo <laughs> like I'm gonna be straightforward and honest. Yeah, you could, but... What is? Hey! Do, 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 do. might do if I'm able to like download the clips I might just make a clip compilation and if 99% of Aaron's I'll just call it Aaron's clip compilation but it would be a members only video so I'm 
even notice the thing. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> you ain't gonna get a clip. Yeah, we just gone from like 82 to 87 views in like five minutes. Like five people have tuned in. Hello, people. Welcome. This is a vibe check. Make the kind of guy to say yippee when he wins a race. Yippee! Yahoo! Yo, I like that without the cola. Such a funny joke, you get me? Oh my gosh. To make it look bigger. <laughs> Wait, can you do that? I need a lesson. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke. That's gonna backfire. <laughs> DJs. Here we go. Hey girls. Hey boys. Superstar DJs. See, the one thing that bugs me about this song is the fact that it says, Hey girl, hey boy. But the song name is called Hey Boy, Hey Girl. See what I mean? Hey girls. Hey boys. Superstar. D and the song name is called Hey Boy, Hey Girl. It's wrong. The song name is wrong. <laughs> oh, that's great. It might be the point, but it's pissing me off. You know. That's like making a cheeseburger and saying, by the way, this is a burger cheese. That would also piss me off. If someone gave me a plate and said, here's your burger cheese, I'd I kick, I kick them in the nuts. If they had nuts. In which case... If they didn't, I don't know what I'd do. I wouldn't be able to check anyway, so... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I see what you mean, Zeno, about the fact that I've got no filter once I start getting tired. Filter's gone. <laughs> I've got no filter. Hey, girls. Hey, boys. Superstar DJs. Here we go. Hey, girls. Hey boys, superstar DJs, here we go. 
when you had a filter. I did, surprisingly. I think the filter was gone. This is the last lap. I'm going to pretend it's a formation lap. That's a formation lap. <laughs> that was blue. Here we go. Cruising. Just cruising to the finish. Ah, oh, you dick. I was going to try and just zip it across, but it didn't work. got 100 grand. I didn't get any damage uh, penalties though. Though to be fair, that track was fucking massive, so if I hit a wall, I'd be very concerned. I get so many discounts now, it's unreal. Holding on for some type of miracle. I'll be right there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.